If you follow top dog tips or frequently watch my recipes, you know that I love using my slow cooker to make dog food. Quite often I hear pet owners say they don't have time to prepare food for their dogs. They would love to give them the added nutrition of a homemade diet, but they don't have the time. And a slow cooker can really help with that. You set all the ingredients in there, you turn your slow cooker on, plug it in, turn it on, and then you can go to work. You can do the things you need to do around the house. You can run your errands, whatever you want to do. The slow cooker works while you're doing other things. You don't have to stand there and stir constantly. So I love using my slow cooker for that reason. And this recipe is a chicken and vegetable uh, medley that I make for my dogs in our slow cooker. All right, my crock pot is ready to go and I'm going to add three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I'm adding these whole because as they cook, they really get tender in the slow cooker and they're much easier to pull apart and break into smaller pieces once they're cooked in here. So I'm just gonna leave these whole, break them up a little bit. I'm also gonna add two apples that I have chopped two cups of frozen peas. You could use fresh peas if you have them available. I'm using frozen. Uh, make sure that you buy the organic frozen vegetables if you can do that, if you have access to those. You also want two cups of frozen green beans. I have one sweet potato that I've chopped. Two carrots chopped. one can of dark red kidney beans and I get the kind with no salt added. You can see there, um, no salt added. And oh, you wanna drain these and rinse them as well. So mine have already been drained and rinsed. Then I'm going to do two tablespoons of coconut oil. Coconut oil is extremely beneficial for a uh, dog's skin and coat. They have shown that it is good for brain development. Um, it is good for different types of conditions, uh, such as arthritis, hip and joint health. So uh, coconut oil is great to add to any dog food recipe. Finally, I'm just gonna pour over the top three cups of water. And then I'm gonna turn my slow cooker on low and cover it, of course, and we're gonna cook it for uh, about eight hours on low. You can see that our dogs love this chicken and veggie stew that I make in my slow cooker. Both of our dogs love it. I recommend feeding about a half a cup for every 20 to 25 pounds of body weight per serving, and you're going to feed two servings a day. If you have any questions about this recipe, please email me, samantha at topdogtips.com. Thanks for watching this recipe video.